This weekend, we're going to pick up Levi's brother Tito to take him here for two weeks, so that means we get to visit his favorite person in the world, his Nana, but we are also going to visit his least favorite place in the world, the vets. Levi knew something was up when his dad and I started to put on our outdoor feet, so I let him know that we were going to visit his Nana and Tito, but I left the part about bringing him to the vet or bringing Tito back here for two weeks because Tito is still growing on Levi. So with the very limited information we gave Levi, he was really excited for the weekend. After yelling at me for like 30 minutes to hurry up, we finally got Levi packed into the car. And Levi's normally a car puker, but we find if we pack him in the car with his bed nice and snug and he lays down right away, it's a smooth ride. And he did. So no puking on this car ride. Once we got to his Nana and Papa's, he was so excited. He ran into the front door, but when I opened it, nobody was there. Or so we thought. His Papa was just out in the shop. So he came upstairs to say hi and Levi got so happy. Now, Tito was outside, so he wasn't expecting Levi to be there. And just as a refresher, Tito is Levi's one-year-old little brother. And Levi is still getting used to Tito. Tito is obsessed with Levi, but he hasn't quite grown on him yet. So when I brought Levi outside to see Tito, it was so funny. Tito literally couldn't believe his eyes. But when he finally did realize who was standing right there in front of him, he <laughs> couldn't contain his happiness. So while Tito mauled Levi with his love outside, I went back inside to lay out the red carpet for Levi. His papa is the best papa and bought him this runner that stretches the entire length of the house. And although Levi would never admit it, he was actually having a really good time with Tito outside, but I had to intervene to take Levi to his least favorite place in the world, the vets. I swear, every time we come here, he forgets where we are until we actually get into the closed door room. So he happily trot through those front doors to the vets, but his entire demeanor changed when we got into our own room. He just kept looking to me for comfort, but he had no reason to worry because <laughs> it wasn't going to be like his last visit to the vets. This was just a routine checkup. I did bring up my concern about his hips considering he does slip on the floors so often and after the vet checked out his hips and cleared any suspicions of an injury, he recommended trying CBD to calm his anxiety while building his confidence on the floors. So if anyone has any recommendations for good dog CBD, we will definitely take them. After that, he got his shots, was offered a treat, and we head out. Now, of course, I felt bad because I did tell him that we were going to have a fantastic day going to see his nan but then I took him <laughs> to the vets. So I did what any good dog mom would do and tried to win back his affection with a couple of Timbits. And in true Husky fashion, he would not give me the satisfaction and declined my peace offering. But thankfully, when we got back home, his Nana was there to turn his terrible day around. So after some treats and some kisses, it was time to pack both the dogs in the car and head back home. Now, Tito has never been to our neck of the woods before, so he was very curious the entire car ride watching and sniffing the whole way. And when we got back home, I was quickly reminded that Tito is still a puppy and our house was just not <laughs> prepared for that. So we spent the next little while chasing him around with things in his mouth and picking our jaws off the floor as we watched him navigate our house in unspeakable ways. And we thought bedtime would be the end of it, but we were completely wrong because we spent the next half an hour pulling him out of the trenches of Levi's fur balls <laughs> underneath the bed. And yes, I'm embarrassed to even show you what the underside of my bed looks like, but hey, husky life, right? He eventually did settle right smack in the middle of the bed, but didn't sleep for long because he was so excited to wake Levi up in the morning to get their day started. One thing about Levi is that he is not a morning dog, so while he was pretty tolerant at first, this did end in a correction, so we had to separate them. But things turned around at breakfast time. Nana did not disappoint with the treat selection, so we did breakfast treats, and then the boys ate their breakfast. As always, Levi basically just ate the treats off the top and took a sweet time while Tito plowed through his breakfast. Afterwards, the boys got fixated on getting this frozen toy unstuck from the ice and Tito, being a better problem solver than Levi, freed it and took off, sending both of them into Azumi's rage, which I couldn't have been happier about because I knew that the next thing on the agenda would be rest. Day one down, 14 to go. Wish us luck.